This lesson is about using proportions and map scales. So the question is, what is the actual distance in miles between Los Angeles and Denver, Colorado? Our first step in solving this is we need to find the map scale. So if you're using an actual map, this is always given to you somewhere and you just have to line it up with a ruler. So on our map, one inch on a ruler is going to be equal to 300 miles in real life. So we're going to write a proportion comparing the actual distance to the map distance. And we found this on our map already. So one inch on the ruler is the same as 300 miles. And that's our map scale. Our second step is we need to find the distance on the map between our two cities. So we line up the ruler between Los Angeles and Denver, Colorado. And that shows three inches on, on our ruler. So if we set up an equivalent ratio, our map distance is going to show that three inches that we just measured. So once we have our proportions labeled and set up, the last step is to solve it. And as we've been doing, we just need to jump from one ratio to the next with a scale factor. And for this one, we're gonna multiply by three on the bottom and the top. So three times 300 is 900 miles. And lastly, of course, we write your answer as a sentence. So the actual distance between Los Angeles and Denver is about 900 miles. Let's try another question. Uh, so Crystal is taking a road trip from Greenville to Faustin. The scale on her map is one inch equals 20 miles. What is the actual distance between the two cities if the distance on the map is 4.5 inches? So same setup, we wanna find the map scale first, but this time it's already given to us in the question. So we're going to compare the actual distance to the map distance, and that's called our map scale. So from the question, we can see that one inch is the same as 200 miles. Second step is to find the distance on the map, and this is also given to us in the problem. So the distance on the map is 4.5 inches. And the third step is we just solve our proportion. So how do we get from one to 4.5 in our second ratio? We're gonna multiply by 4.5, and we'll do the same thing to the top. So 4.5 times 20, and I made a mistake here. I forgot the decimal. So it's actually not 900, it should be 90. I totally forgot the decimal. So the actual distance between Greenville and Faustin is 90 miles, not 900. Sorry for that mistake, and thanks for watching.